Join me as I dive deep into the reasons behind Israel's attack on Gaza and try to uncover the unspoken truths that often get overlooked. The history of the Israel-Gaza conflict is complex, spanning decades and involving multiple stakeholders. Understanding the recent attack is crucial for a well-rounded perspective, and that's exactly what we're going to do today. Historical grievances, security concerns, and humanitarian impacts on the civilian population in Gaza are just a few of the key issues at stake. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict is often reduced to simplistic narratives, but the reality is that there are multiple layers to this issue. For instance, the Israeli government's stance on settlements has been a major point of contention with many arguing that it's a violation of international law. On the other hand, Hamas's rockets fired into Israeli territory have led to a significant escalation of violence. The impact on civilians, particularly in Gaza, cannot be overstated, with many living in poverty and facing severe restrictions on their freedom of movement. The humanitarian crisis in Gaza is often overlooked, with 70% of the population reliant on international aid. The economic blockade has led to a situation where electricity is only available for a few hours a day and clean water is a luxury. It's no wonder that tensions are running high with many Gazans feeling like they're stuck in a state of perpetual crisis. Meanwhile, Israel is also dealing with its own security concerns, with the threat of terrorism ever-present. The Iron Dome defense system has been effective in intercepting rockets, but it's not a long-term solution to the problem. Add to this the mix of political and social influences, and you have a perfect storm of tension and unrest. The Israeli government's stance on the conflict has been shaped by its own political agenda, with some arguing that it's more about demographics than security concerns. On the other side, Hamas's ideology is rooted in resistance to the occupation, but its methods are often deemed unacceptable by the international community. In the lead-up to the attack, there were several factors at play. Politically, the Israeli government was facing pressure from its own citizens to take action against Hamas. Socially, the rise of social media has meant that the conflict is more visible than ever before, with both sides using it as a propaganda tool. Economically, the blockade on Gaza has led to a situation where the Strip is almost entirely reliant on international aid. It's no wonder that tensions were running high, with both sides feeling like they're backed into a corner. One of the main factors leading up to the attack was the shift in the balance of power in the region. The Abraham Accords, signed in 2020, marked a significant shift in the Middle East's geopolitical landscape. For the first time in decades, Arab states were openly recognizing Israel's right to exist, and this had significant implications for Hamas. The group, which has long been backed by Iran, felt like it was being isolated, and this led to a significant escalation in violence. Another key factor was the rise of Fatah Hamas's longtime rival. The Palestinian Authority, led by Fatah, had been making overtures to Israel leading to a significant split in the Palestinian ranks. Hamas, feeling like it was being left behind, took a more hardline stance leading to a significant escalation in violence. As we delve deeper into the motivations behind Israel's actions, one thing becomes clear. This conflict is not simply about security concerns or historical grievances. It's about the struggle for power and recognition in a region that's been torn apart by decades of conflict. The unspoken truth is that the Abraham Accords have created a new reality, one where Israel is no longer isolated and Hamas is feeling the squeeze. The key takeaway from our exploration is that the Israel-Gaza conflict is a complex web of historical, political and social influences. It's not simply about good versus evil or right versus wrong. Rather, it's a nuanced issue that requires a deep understanding of the complexities at play. So, the next time you hear about the conflict, take a step back and try to understand the motivations behind the actions. Thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts on the topic, be sure to share them in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about the Israel-Gaza conflict, 
Be sure to check out our other video on the topic.